Hey guys, we're gonna do a DIY on cleaning your stainless steel teapots, which is really cool. This is basically a very simple way of doing it. Um, I'll go through cleaning every part of this old um, teapot or kettle. Uh, it's been like this for a while, it hasn't been cleaned in years, and it's been stained with a lot of tea. It's gonna end up like this after this video is over, and it's very, very simple. All you really need to do is basically get an old teapot. It was actually a, a giveaway. Um, at work because the person was doesn't need it anymore. I got myself some denture cleaners and I figured if we could clean dentures it could destain you know tea. So this should be able to break up most of the stuff and kill any bacteria in it since it wasn't my teapot anyways. So I'm putting hot water in there right off the faucet and to find out it's really hot it's right now 65 degrees in my room and when I screw this thing on in, I love this thing because it actually has a temperature gauge, but I doubt I'm gonna be using it for that. I'm just gonna probably put water in it. But it has a temperature gauge and it's slowly building up to about 100 degrees. Anywho, so hot water in the kettle, put two of these uh, denture cleaners inside of it. I eventually put another one in just for a good measure. Uh, so it makes a total of three, but it's nice that it's like an Alka-Seltzer where it just basically bubbles up. But putting a third one in just for good measure is cool. Four wouldn't hurt as well, but I think two or two or three is probably is fine. So go ahead, slide that thing in and lock this thing down. Um, what you're gonna notice is that for people who actually use these teddy kettles, they use if they use loose leaf teas and they didn't put it in a bag or anything, the tea gets stuck in the valve. So sometimes it gets jammed in the screw areas or in the valve or the gaskets or even inside this top. So you're gonna to need to clean this top later, uh, either by soaking the whole top in a solution of um, or the denture solution, or just let, or just basically take it into the shower and blow it with um, with hot water to get out all the leaves that are stuck inside that valve. Now turning this guy upside down, there was a little bit of tea that came out, and when this is gonna amaze you guys, I'm gonna hit that, hit that, put it all in the sink. Look at that! All that tea gunk just got, came off of it. This is a lot. This is like probably 90% of all the tea gunk that was in there. I'm gonna rinse out the stuff that's inside the, the top cap. There is still some remainder amounts of tea uh, staining in there, and I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that now. What is What happens is that there's still tea stains on the edges, on the bottom, and the seam areas where, where, where it's deeper, but the needle is clean as well, so we'll go ahead and do, use a kitchen brush or even a bottle brush and just basically you know, put some dishwashing solution inside of it. I just put a few drops of uh, dishwashing liquid in there. This is actually a foaming one, but it doesn't matter. Um, and I'm just gonna brush the heck out of this thing. Where the seams are, do a quick go around the walls, and just make sure everything um, that is solid or anything else will come off again. And of course, I'm taking care of all the nooks and crannies on the side, as well as like the tops and, and edges and everywhere else. I'm gonna also clean the outside of the, um, well, look at that brush, it's all dark. It's picked up most of the tea staining. Um, sediment as well as now I'm cleaning the sides of this thing I'm gonna take apart the gasket as well so that I can clean underneath the gasket in case uh, there's a um, There's a buildup of tea particles or any debris or residue so just to take it off Clean it to rinse it off again make sure there's no soap suds in it You open the valve as well to drain out all the stuff that's in there again This is like probably the fifth time I, I clean that valve area But I'm gonna go ahead and put some hot water in there to rinse off the the remaining amount of dishwashing liquid and stuff. And I'll probably rinse it again with, you know, since there's dishwashing liquid in it. Just want to make sure I don't, you know, drink dishwashing liquid. So just checking all the seals and all the spacers and everything else like that. It looks like it's good. Um, but like I said, this is probably at least three to four years old, I'm guessing. Um, but yeah, it looks great. And it looks pretty much like new. So I'm going to go ahead and that's it. So that the um, um, soap solution is going to, you know, Ooh, good, it's about 100 degrees. Perfect. So we're just gonna let it rinse off with the soap solution. I'll probably rinse it through the um, the valve so that we rinse off that center part too. And shake, shake, shake. I'm gonna shake this a whole bit and now I'm gonna start cleaning up my tools. So clean up my brushes, make sure there's no that stuff stains my brush. Clean up my uh, terry cloth. And that's really about it. There you have it, it's done. So this is what you get. It's a super clean um, tea kettle.